Hey everybody, welcome back to some wedding fails that gave me secondhand embarrassment. So speaking of wedding day horror stories, I was recently videoing a wedding and the craziest thing happened. Probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen at any wedding. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> Can we leave names and locations out of this completely? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. No one's getting called out on this one. So it came to the part of the day where the photographer wanted to do the couple photos. So he got the couple out, got ready to do the photos, got them all posed, and then he got the smoke bombs out. Oh, nice for the super arty shots. Oh, very fancy. Exactly. One of these very fancy smoke bomb shots with the smoke going everywhere, coming through, looking all amazing. So I needed to get something from my bag. So I turned round, and before I knew it, I heard the biggest scream and yelp from the bride. Oh God, what, what happened? happened? So I turned around and no word of a lie, the bride's dress was on fire. Stop! Literally like oh, flames God. coming up from the bottom of the dress. Oh my God. <laughs> That's like your worst nightmare. So I could literally see like the flames like eating up the bride's dress. It was literally getting smaller. So what had happened is the photographer had dropped the smoke bomb on no, the bride's dress. No, no. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the photographer managed to like put out the flames on the dress. Oh. But unfortunately the bride still had the rest of the couple shots to do and the <laughs> evening do to do. <laughs> an absolute nightmare. Did she kick off? She kicked off more than you would believe. And oh. she had to like continue the wedding with this burnt dress. Oh, you know, I've always thought it was a little bit extra to have multiple dresses for your wedding day. But I feel like after hearing this, like this is obviously a very special case, but there's a lot that could go wrong with regards to the dress, right? You could spill something on it. You could set it on fire. You could uh -huh. yourself. You could throw up on it. A jealous ex-girlfriend could come in and spill wine on you. There's so much that could happen. So maybe, not saying go and spend a crazy amount of money, but it might be a good idea for brides and future brides to have a spare. Otherwise, there's always Photoshop, you know what I mean? <laughs> Went to a wedding today and was chatting to this guy. He was chirpy and chatty all day and I got him on Instagram. This was on his story. I always find that weddings are a good place to meet, meet people, meet guys. Not that I'm looking right now. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm, I'm really not looking, but you know, when I was single, a wedding was a good place to find somebody because people are just so sad and single and, and a wedding is a good place to meet someone. I stand corrected. <laughs> Struggling today being single at this wedding. I really hope that was a joke. I hope like maybe this is his sense of humor, but did anyone else just get the ick hard? Ooh. There's something about dudes in mirror selfies. I just can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't not get the ick. I can't believe this is going against the grain. This is the definition of cringe to me. I guess I can understand being sad and single at a wedding, but to pose for an attention grab, it's the equivalent of setting up a phone to catch yourself crying, odd. Yeah, see, is it performative sadness or is he being funny? I don't know, but like, I still got the ick. Help! Did anyone take engagement pictures with guns? Guns are a big deal to my fiance, <laughs> but all the inspo photos I can find on Pinterest look kinda redneck. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Is it even possible to take classy gun engagement photos without it looking like a shotgun wedding? Oh, pun was not lost on me, babe. I don't know. I don't, I, I just, I feel like the guns, they're a bit redneck. They're a bit redneck. I understand that your fiance loves guns, but like, do we have to include them in the wedding photos and the engagement photos? Like we don't, we don't have to do that. For example, I really like tiny hands. Do I want tiny hands in my engagement photos? No, they're really, really important to me. They are, they bring me so much joy. Not as much joy as maybe your fiance gets from guns, but I don't need them in my engagement photos. I just don't. I think that we can pass on that. But again, it's your wedding. Just be prepared to have it look a little bit redneck. <laughs> I was at a wedding once and a family member had to be taken out because he had collapsed. We all thought he had a heart attack, um, but no, he just had a little too much of the devil's lettuce. <laughs> When you finally announce to everyone you got eloped and are excited to see everyone's support and love, but your in-laws send you this email. 
Everyone in the family is laughing at your wedding video because you look like a big joke. How could you possibly expect any of us to see any beauty or joy in a wedding video about such horrible, abusive, and ugly woman inside and out marrying into the family? I hope we won't have to share a name with you. Subject pathetic. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You don't look like a big joke. Those are beautiful wedding photos for the record. They were just mad that they weren't invited and included in the decision. But to send an email like that, I'm sorry. Secondhand embarrassment. Should I mention my class rank in my wedding vows? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but go on. I was planning my wedding with my fiance when we started discussing wedding vows. He really doesn't want me to mention it, but I graduated from a T14. What's a T14? Do I read Law schools. It's a law school. Top 14 schools in the US based on rankings. Okay, good for you, babe. Congratulations. But I don't know if we should say that in the wedding vow. Aren't wedding vows supposed to be about how much you love the other person? Edit number one, I'm a little concerned about the amount of people that think this is a joke or a post. I was thinking of mentioning it in a casual manner, but why though? What, what's, why do you need to mention that? Something along the lines of baby without you, I wouldn't have been able to graduate from XXX law school. Something humble that makes him seem like the good guy. What's wrong with that? I just don't think that it's necessary to like talk about your achievements with regards to talking about how much you love another person. It's the fact that you like want to put the law school in the speech. You can say without you, I wouldn't have graduated from law school or you got me through law school. But to add the shameless plug in there. Edit number two. I think this has reached an audience outside the legal community. No, I don't. I don't. I think it's reached an audience that kind of think it's a silly idea. <laughs> You are the center of attention on your wedding day. You are. But it's not about being the center of attention on your wedding day. It's about the vows and whether or not your wedding vow should be about yourself. It's not. It's not about you, babe. You're talking about why you love that person that you're marrying. Chances are your family and friends already know that you graduated from the T14 law school. The way they served ice cream at a wedding, not my pick. Just thought people here would appreciate it. Let's see. Oh yes, I do appreciate that. I do. Look how, oh, so I appreciate this so, <laughs> so much. There's just a big ice cream schlong, a nice big wiener. Okay, but can we just talk about how inefficient this is? This is not an efficient way to grab ice cream. Like look at everybody grabbing it from the bottom. It's just gonna topple over and fall. Why do we need to do it like this? <laughs> Why does it need to be a big ice cream cylinder? I like the grapes on top though. That's a nice touch. So is everyone just supposed to walk up and take a lick? <laughs> Stop! Your thoughts are so much more wholesome than mine. <laughs> okay, let's not go there. They're cylinders. Did you also immediately notice the ethnically diverse ice cream penises? <laughs> Does anyone else find this as odd as I do? The most embarrassing thing that happened at our wedding. During the ceremony, my mother-in-law brushed my hubby's hair in front of everyone. Oh, don't do this. Mothers of the bride, mothers of the groom. If you're watching this, don't do that. Don't do that. Look at him. Look at him. He's mad. Look, he's like, mom, can you not? Can you not do this? It is a respectable thing to do before you're about to take pictures. All right. If you want to, you know, fix the bride's hair and makeup, fix her dress. Maybe the groom looks a little disheveled. By all means, before they take pictures, go and fix them. You have my permission and I am the final word on this, <laughs> but not during the ceremony. Is this inappropriate? If you have to ask if it's inappropriate, it is. <laughs> I, 28 female, want to get my partner, male 44, before our first dance to pour champagne down his leg and into my mouth from his foot. Like in the Tarantino movie. What Tarantino movie? I haven't seen that one. I'm picturing something very odd. Oh, the images, the images are very odd. Would he have pants on? Is he taking the pants off? Are we pouring it through the pants? Let's find out. This would mean a lot to me, but my partner says it would be inappropriate. Uh, and it's involving other people into our fetish. <laughs> I see, I, I see. I understand this, but it's our wedding and his parents aren't coming and the people that know us would accept our decision. Listen, I'm not kink shaming. If y'all like to get a little, a little saucy, spice things up a, a bit, you know, whatever, G go for it. But let's not bring it into public occasions. 
very public occasions. It's not a big enough thing to call off the wedding for, but I really don't see the problem and I would just like to get an outside neutral opinion. My neutral opinion is that it is not necessary to pour champagne down your fiance's leg and into your mouth from his foot. Edit, I also wanted him to spit, <laughs> spit in my mouth after the vowels, but I didn't want to argue that one. Oh dear. I wanted to add it in because it makes the one we're actually considering not sound so bad. Oh God, it's just, uh. I guess I've been a bit selfish with this. Just to note, my partner isn't completely against the idea. He said he would keep an open mind if I could find a way that would make it acceptable. Perhaps like warn people beforehand. <laughs> or just remind others the kind of people we are sort of thing. And in all fairness, I do believe that some people would enjoy it. Uh, th that's an interesting thing to add. Why must you make it so that everybody watches you do it? Why must we include other people? That's that's private, babe. That's private. I don't think it's necessary to have that at your wedding. But that's just me. Me in the middle of my wedding ceremony realizing I'd made a terrible mistake. Oh, okay. Okay, girl, go off. What happened? Your love is a perfect embodiment of why we should all believe in love in this marriage. Uh-oh. Love is the base. Why are you missing your Um, pause for a moment. I just realized when I got up to the end of the aisle that I'm missing half of my dress. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could put it on now. Yes! <laughs> oh, she is so beautiful. I'm not kidding, two, two nights ago I had a dream that I did this. That I, I walked on the aisle without it. <laughs> Here comes the dress. Okay. <laughs> Yay! I'm sure you guys have never been to a wedding like this before. Okay, but to be fair. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I was going to say, to be fair, it kind of looked like that was originally supposed to be your dress anyway. Okay. It was gorgeous on its own. <laughs> but I can see why you wanted it. I can see why you wanted it. I love that you stopped the wedding to put that part of the dress on. You could have literally just gotten away with it. You looked stunning as it was. That's actually a good idea to kind of have like a little like, you know, skirt option that you can take on and off. A convertible wedding dress, if you will. Two dresses in one. I def thought the mistake was getting married. <laughs> me too. You clickbaited me and I clickbaited you. <laughs> Gotcha! I gotcha! Where was the maid of honor, lol? One job! <laughs> Literally nobody remembered. It is confusing, but, but maybe it was like, you look so beautiful that it was just, I just didn't think that you had an extra part of the dress. He was probably panicking, thinking, oh my God, what is she doing? <laughs> Throwback to last week when my bridesmaids got trapped in an elevator for over an hour the night before my wedding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Surprise. Is this my present? Okay, but like, you know, all is not lost because like these firemen are kind of cute. I mean, I can only see them from behind, but like they looking cute. Tell me you invited them to the wedding, my dear. Tell me that they were there. After being trapped in an elevator and then the door opening to that, it would be a welcome sight. You probably couldn't do much about it though, because uh, speaking from experience, you gotta pee real bad after you get stuck in an elevator. Those were some wedding pills that gave me secondhand embarrassment. I love you. Just wanted to tell you. 